Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Social Time. Believe it or not, there's another episode of Social Time. My name is John Rank, your host of Social Time. Social Time is the show that's all about developing community and fostering interpersonal relationships. Today, we're going to be talking about friendships. First, we'll be talking about the different levels of friendships. Next, we'll move on to the five phases of friendships. And at the end, we'll talk about the importance of maintaining and growing friendships over a lifetime. Let's begin by talking about the three levels of friendship and the kind of communication that happens during those three levels of friendship. In the first level of friendship, you essentially have just an acquaintance. Your conversations are anything more than small talk. When we go into level two of friendship, it's kind of like a video game. Imagine a friendship video game. Level two of friendship. Level two of friendship is where you start to be more involved with your friend. And you talk about more in-depth things like hopes and dreams. On the third level of friendship, you have maintained a certain amount of trust, actually really the most high level of trust with your friend. This is where you start talking about things like hopes and dreams and purpose. Now, there is a correlation between the three levels of friendship and the different phases. Actually, there are five phases of friendship. The first of the five phases of friendship is the gestation phase. This is the phase where everyone is seen as an equal. After you go through the um, gestation phase, the next phase of friendship is frustration. This is where you're actually starting to see who your friend is as a person. And um, you're kind of letting your guard down and your true characters coming out. This is the level of friendship where boundaries are set. After frustration comes the cooperation phase of friendship. In the cooperation phase of friendship, you're starting to accept the person for um, the differences they have from you, and you're embracing those differences in each other. After we pass through the cooperation stage of friendship, we get into the creative stage of the friendship. This is where you and your friend are doing new things and the fun and excitement starts to happen. This is where you're working on different exciting projects. After the creative stage of the friendship, you are reaching the evolution stage of the friendship where much like everything else, your friendship is starting to grow and to change. Now, over time, our lives do get different, and we don't often have time to make new friends. However, making new friends does create a sense of excitement where um, your old friends are starting to be established. New friends can help you develop new interests, if you have new interests, and hone those new experiences. So realistically, Having new friends makes you a well makes you a well-rounded person over your lifetime. If you would like to learn more about what we talked about today, I'd recommend Life Coaching for Dummies. I'm not calling you a dummy, but I'm recommending the book Life Coaching for Dummies. I'm sure you're a very smart person. I'm also recommending the book Belong by Radha. Aguila, I'm sorry, I'm butchering her name, Radha Agrawal. 
So check out these two books and they'll help you get more informed on what we talked about today. This about wraps up this episode of Social Time. If you do like what you saw today on Social Time, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now everybody, thank you for listening to this episode of Social Time. My name is John Rink. Get out there, be safe, but be social. Thank you so much for listening to Social Time.